Hope you guys, this lesson is sponsored by Rocket Mortgage. Gabe Bolt, the host of their new show, Big Change, recently interviewed me about how I built my dream studio. Watch the episode after the lesson. The link's in the description. All right, we're going to start with the open E. And then we go into an E major bar chord, which is a barred on 7th fret, A shape. Followed by that open E again. And so the next shape, the bass is playing a D. But for the guitar, we're playing on the seventh fret, A string with the middle finger, ring finger seventh, and then pinky seventh. So. And then we're grabbing that fifth fret of the B string. But without the bass in there, you know, really, when, when the bass is in there, it becomes kind of an exotic D power chord. But without the bass, it, it sounds even more exotic. E again. And now we're playing this uh, A7 sus4 is what it's called. But basically, I'm using my pinky. A lot of players would use ring and pinky, you know, think of like that G chord, right? Or playing Wonderwall. I brought Wonderwall into this lesson. How dare I? Okay, so open A string, second fret D, and then third fret B in high E. I tend to grab it like that, and my thumb is muting that E string, so we really hear that. All right, so, so far we have the E. Funky D. Then we do the funky A. Then we do a funky C, which is just what we did here, but down here. So fifth fret, fifth fret, fifth fret, third fret. Next, we have this little walk down, which comes from that same third fret B, third fret high E, and uh, third fret A, second fret D. So it's like a C add nine. That's what that is. Index finger goes to the second fret. Then it scoots over so we can play this A power chord. Thank you. 
So nice and slow. So then we get to this part, it goes through the chords again, but now we get to that much of it, three, two, oh, but then we go to the E string, three, two, oh, and that's a power chord, so. Right, so this section is gonna plant the pinky on the fourth fret of the G string. Uh, this is uh, the Rush E power chord. Mr. Mr. Lifeson's uh, favorite way to play an E power chord. So open E, second fret, second fret, fourth fret. Open B, high E. Great chord. So if you think of it that way, and you have this. Because it's going to keep pedaling back to that. And then there's light arpeggio stuff like. But very quiet. So we really, what you really want to do to play the, the part. Say you're playing it in a cover or something like that. You really want to focus on that pinky staying there, E power chord, but emphasize the bass notes, then we'll add the pedal. My pinky's there, I'm not playing it yet, but that's how you. I would recommend you trying it. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, you know, the guitar is layered in the recordings. So there's a few things he does live that it's a little different. I think playing it, like for instance, when he goes, he's playing a lower E, but that's because the bass is hitting that. So I think it's gonna be better to hit. It sounds more like the riff when you're playing it without a, without rush. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Okay, so we've got, Two, three, open A. So. so then second fret of the D string to third fret. So. So, three open A, two on the D, three on the A, two open three. Then I would recommend that power chord there. See, 
that, so I'm hitting the down on the power chord and grabbing that that fourth fret G, but I'm getting the open B in there, which is unison. It's all good. So when I get to that one, I'm covering I'm covering that A string as well. So Now when I hit the third, that can be like it is for a G chord. That way if you're getting the no, some of those more quiet arpeggios underneath, you're still right. So And so on that open A, my index finger is right there as if it's an A power chord. It's all very rush, rush-ish. So it doesn't go down to that third before it goes to that next chord section. So that's going to be a B suspended. Just think of a B power chord. You can let those, let these shimmer. So, uh... That's just an A chord grabbing that third fret E. None, none of that's too hard, so that's kind of a relief. B power chord. A over G, A, B. E power chord. So that's all you got to know there until we get to the uh, wee -do -wee -do -wee -do -wee -do -wee -do wee. So that first line. It's thirds in E mixolydian. So 10 to 7 on the B, then 9 on the B to 9 on the G, then 7 on the B to 7 on the G. So the next half of this lick is the exact same except for the last note. So instead of 7th fret G, it is the... B note, which is on the ninth fret D. So you put them together. And that's a synthesizer, but obviously you're going to want to play that part, classic part. Guitar comes in with that. Over the line, if you were playing rhythm, the open E to the F sharp to the second fret. All right, to double up with it, and it changes a little bit, 
So what goes on there is it's still the same E mixolydian scale. We're on the seventh fret D to ninth fret A. Then that index finger goes down a half step to seven, and middle finger hits eight of the A. And that same thing a whole step down. So that's the first half. Then so it changes to five on the A to seven on the E. So So you do the six, five, and then you hop over, I'm sorry, six to the seven, and then you hop over to the five on the A, seven on the E. So all together. So around that lick, which is also the bass lick for the guitar solo, you have these little tags. And that's just E minor pentatonic lick, 5-7 um, on the E, 5 on the, on the A string. But it does it through the solo. But then at the end... through all the way through all those parts again last little set of chords as it fades out is that cla the classic rush e power chord to an f suspended so there's a few different ways you can uh do it Second fret, four, 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 but you're using your pinky for the E power chord. You could grab it that way and your pinky could stay. Or you could go. Your pinky or your ring finger. So. That's it for today. Don't forget to click the link in the description and check out my episode of Big Change on the Rocket Learn YouTube channel. See you guys later.